Uh-oh. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Atlas Engine Ignition. The Air Force has taken its unmanned aerial system program to the next level, space. On Earth Day, the X-37B was launched into space from Cape Canaveral in an Atlas V rocket. The X-37 is the first orbital test vehicle since the space shuttle that can return things from orbit. So our top priority objectives are to uh, launch X-37, make sure it works on orbit as we predict and as we have simulated, and then make sure the new technologies that are on the X-37 can bring it back home to either Vandenberg Air Force Base or Edwards Air Force Base uh, with no direct human control. The fact that the X-37 is unmanned provides a few advantages over the more well-known NASA space shuttle. The X-37 is smaller, weighing in around 11,000 pounds at launch and standing a little more than 9 feet high and 29 feet long. The Space Shuttle Endeavour is 122 feet long and weighs 78 tons. The X-37 can also stay in orbit up to 270 days, 10 times longer than the Endeavour. But both vehicles are reusable. So that is the real payoff, financially. The real payoff from X-37 is using the vehicle again and again and again and a quick turnaround on the ground, similar to the way uh, the Air Force handles uh, F-16s and F-15s. Tech Sergeant Chris Decker, San Antonio, Texas.